nationality uh, really grow into it and it takes some it's a vegetarian dish it's it's a poor man's dish back home and yeah. everybody can afford it it's it's simple it's kind of like pinto beans for mm. mexicans you mm -hmm. know everybody wants to have beans on their rice egyptian like molokhia it's what we claim it's nice i we Everybody has their custom. Every culture comes with their own custom of food. And what you were raised up on eating when you were growing up, it's what you're going to like to have during that month mm -hmm. of Ramadan. Yeah, yeah. And we try our best at Marina to, to give that to the people and attract them to us by offering them what they're looking for. Uh, uh, do non-Muslims come to the... To I believe it or not, I have a lawyer that was in our restaurant last Ramadan and he said the best time to come to Marina is during Ramadan. But they come like 10 minutes before the sunset. Before the iftar, <laughs> the because it's, it's, it's a huge crowd that comes in all at the yeah. same time. Yeah. This guy came at least two to three times a week in Ramadan. He said, I enjoy the crowd. I enjoy the atmosphere. I enjoy the food so much. It's, that was an American person. And he does not know anything about Ramadan. He said, I love the month of Ramadan now. because <laughs> He walked into it. He walked into it. He's seen how fun and how friendly the environment is. It's, it's really is. a fascinating scene to have because there is no other places when you have people from probably different. 30 different countries with different culture and custom and ritual, and they're all eating together. Yes. You don't find this at McDonald's, huh? No, not really. <laughs> McDonald's mold you yes. to his, their own, own style. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. And we try to accommodate people the own way they want us to. Yeah. They want to enjoy their time in Ramadan. We try to accommodate that for them. And they bring their family. Yes. And the kids are running. Kids all. everywhere they running. They should put on a leash or something. Uh, <laughs> honestly, it's, it, it gets kind of hectic sometimes. But I'll tell you the truth, it's fun. It, yeah. The kids give it a different vibe, like a family uh -huh. theme kind of thing. Especially with the tent. They, yes. can, uh, they can run around. There's a lot of room. There's actually a place that we specialize just for prayer. Uh, the tent is a lot bigger this year than the years before. Uh, Where do you get a, tent, a big tent like that? Uh, we usually rent them, but I got special fabric material that I shipped over last year from overseas to give it that Mediterranean Egyptian look, also with this fanus right here. Uh, How did you get this through the airport? Uh, it was cut up into pieces, and we, weld, we welded it up over here. It gives it a look. It lights up from the inside. They're mm -hmm. hanged in the ceiling, so they, they give it a... A traditional look. Because, uh, you know, uh, Faunis is one of the, uh, the, the, the ritual. Yes. Okay. You, know, ho you know, holding Faunis. Faunis for kids. For kids. They give them around uh, and kids run around with them playing. And Even with electricity and, you know, the streets are lit and, uh, yes. and everything. But this is start when we were growing up in the village. There was no lights. There was no electricity. <laughs> so you actually, it has a purpose. It was uh, for lighting up. Yeah it, yeah, it had a purpose. You guys, this was your lamp. Yeah, and you walk in the streets, and because uh, people stay uh, all night, yeah, celebrating. Uh, celeb the stand, usually, people they break their fast. Uh, the tradition way of doing it, and the, how the Prophet Muhammad, the Sunnah said it, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you break your fast with a couple of dates, few three dates, and you drink milk, and then you pray, and then after that, because praying and help you get that first bite yeah. in you and settles in and then you have to go eat afterwards. And you pray, you settle that cup of food, you get an appetite, you get up and eat, you enjoy your meal with your family. And after that, there is uh, Aisha prayer, Taraweeh prayer, which goes up until maybe 12, 1 o'clock at night. Uh, after that, people are together preparing for the suhoor, which is a pre-meal before they start fasting. Mm -hmm. which is this is the last meal of the, the evening. Of the evening, yes. Before? Sun comes up. Yeah. Sunrise. So it's uh, usually around 4 o'clock. I don't know what... Yeah, it's about that time. 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock, uh, people stop eating. So there's a meal before that. It's a pre-fasting meal. And you're not open for that? Uh, unfortunately, not this year. Uh, <laughs> I maybe, think that will be interesting. Too. It will be interesting yeah. as Ramadan progresses because Ramadan yeah. works on a linear year. So yeah. every year it's 10 This is going to be tough. Yes, especially in the summertime coming in July. You talk about 14 hours of fasting. Yes, it's going to be a long day. People are going to be tired. I, I just I don't, Last few Ramadans were there all in the winter. Last Ramadan was kind of in the summer still in the end of August or middle of August, it gave it a 
a more longer day feel, but definitely this year we're going to feel it. It's going to be a long day. And you're going to work another 10 hours after that. Yes. It's hard. You're going to be gone. Uh, maybe I'll be, I'll lose a couple of pounds. <laughs> you already have, you only a couple of pounds I, left. I know. Uh, this is the time to go and spend Ramadan in South Africa. <clears throat> Not really South Africa, maybe back home wherever you, your country is. The from. winter is there. But, uh, still summer in Egypt. See, I know. You know, but, but you know, I, uh, I come, I, 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 uh, I, make, I make a point of coming uh, and experiment different restaurants because there is also other restaurants, they have their own meals and people yes. try to have varieties. And, uh, but, uh, but to have that event and, and, and that uh, many people and people coming and eating at the same time, I've never seen this in anywhere else. So how, you mean, uh, do, do the, the, the neighbors, uh, the city, anybody alerted to uh, any of this? Do you... We, is it an issue at all? No, parking? it's not an issue at all. We have to get uh, permits for the tent outside. We do it every year. Uh, city of Minneapolis and the fire department has no problem with us doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, as we keep it under control, and people come there for the purpose of eating and gathering. There's, you know, socializing. It's it's a fun atmosphere, and it's also good for people to interact. Uh, with yeah. non-Muslim people. With non-Muslim people. They come in, they see the Muslim people behaving in such a way. And it's really, we try to keep it as organized as possible. People come there to see what the Muslim people are about. I yeah. even got interviewed a couple of times last year yeah. from different uh, local news 